So we're talking about tissue engineering and breast reconstruction, and the superficial fascia system is organized by its collagen structure holding fat uh, lobules and globules and cells. And uh, it's interesting to look at analogous structures in nature, whether it be plant or animal, and how nature organizes its cells. Uh, an early uh, pioneer in this idea was, a, idea was a, a man named Darcy Wentworth Thompson, and we've gone to Wikipedia to uh, uh, re review uh, his life story. Uh, but he was born in 1840 and died in 1948. And he said there's more than just natural selection going on, this idea of form and function. Uh, he said there's a mathematical background to nature and it applies to certain physical rules uh, uh, of the structure of things. So come in here and let's take a little closer look at something I'd like to show to you as an analogy for the, for the breast structure. And, and it's kind of interesting because, you know, this is an orange and, and it's uh, uh, organizing uh, juice and the breast is a gland that's uh, holding and organizing the production of milk. And uh, so the stem is really analogous to the nipple and the strands of uh, the stem that go into each segment of the juice uh, is similar to the uh, ducts that go to the lobules in the breast. Uh, and, and of course the idea of the skin of the breast and then on the inside there's gonna be some fruit. So what I did was is to kind of explore a little bit uh, what's on the inside of this uh, orange, I, I took a knife and I carefully sliced through the peel. And these are these little brand of oranges called cuties and they're, uh, they're, they're grown for little kids that they can be peeled easily. So that kind of helps us. So I just, all I did was slice. And if you notice, there's some uh, fibrous connections between the, the juice portion and the skin. And this is very similar to the breast. Uh, in the breast, the skin is an ectodermal layer and the uh, milk forming portions uh, are also ectodermal. And they penetrate at the nipple and come down in and form uh, in the midst of mesoderm, which is the connective tissue and fat. So running from the connective tissue layers to the skin are vertical cutaneous ligaments, or Cooper's ligaments, and I think they're very analogous to these uh, fibrous strands that you see in the orange. So at any rate, if we peel back, peel back the orange, uh, and then let the orange fall apart, you can see that what nature has done is taken a fairly large, uh, I don't know if you can see that as I'm kind of peeling it apart, a fairly large volume, and it's segmented it into smaller segments. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten segments. And uh, then, you know, if you uh, peel off a segment and cut into it, you, you can see that actually there are smaller little juice segments or subsegments that are dividing up the segment and containing the juice. And the way they're stacked together so that there's no wasted geometry or space or open areas is true in uh, animal tissues as well. There's no air pockets or wasted or extra spaces. And this is referred to as close, C-L-O-S-E, packing, meaning that all these little structures are packed together very close without any close without any wasted space. Um, but at any rate, uh, if we kind of take off, see these strands? This is so analogous to the breast. In the breast, you have uh, 15 to 20 lobes, and the lobes would be like a segment here, and they connect uh, to a major duct, and they come up to the, the nipple itself, which you can see there. So what we've been trying to do in our breast reconstructions is preserve the skin peel uh, and the connective tissue and fat, but get rid of the milk forming lobules and ducts. And uh, just like we've been able to do in this little orange, uh, we can preserve the basic structure and shape of the breast by preserving the superficial fascia. The trick is how do we regenerate fat on the inside, but more about that later.